New battery projects here in Australia have pushed the number of batteries on the grid to a new record. And in fact, we're actually heading towards being a lot like California, but in a good way. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Reneweconomy.com.au says that a couple of newly commissioned big battery projects here in Australia have helped deliver a new record for battery discharge into the national electricity market in a foretaste of things to come as even bigger projects join the nation's main grids in coming months. In fact, the numbers are even better than what they appear because Australia's grid is surging ahead with enormous growth. Battery power is up 4,200%, storage 7,300%, in one to two years. And this is a truly remarkable transformation. This is what's going to happen over the next 24 months, right? Battery out storage will increase by 4,200%. And we're not going to see all this solar being wasted during the middle of the day. This solar duck curve, you know, the duck curve, yeah, solar panels during the middle of the day produce heaps of power. So it just goes like this, up all this power, and then it goes down and then all that top duck, top part of that duck curve is just wasted. Electricity just gets destroyed. We're talking billions of dollars of electricity of free solar, right? That is all going into these batteries. With a 4,200% increase in battery deployment here in Australia, that will completely revolutionize our energy grid. And it's already happening. According to multiple data points, including Open NEM, GPE NEMLOG, battery discharge hit a new record peak of 1,371 megawatts at 6.05 p.m. on Thursday night, in the middle, in th on Thursday, right in the middle of the evening, demand peak. That's up from 1,306 megawatts reached in April and three times more than the peak two years ago. We have tripled the battery storage that we have here in Australia in terms of what we're actually using. We've tripled it in three years. But in the next two years, uh, we're not going to triple it. It's going to just go absolutely nuclear, not literally nuclear, fortunately. The record was broken again on Friday evening. I mean, it's going to be a, a it's going to sound kind of repetitive, isn't it? Breaking records after records. This time to 1,445 megawatts per reneweconomy.com.au at 6 p.m., more than 10% higher than its record level two days earlier. How is this happening? I mean, more than 10% higher than its record level two days earlier. That is truly staggering. Its share of the market at that stage was 5.5%. So battery storage has hit 5.5% market share in Australia on the main grid. Um, you know what? That doesn't include all the people. In fact, we have more than a more than a hundred thousand Australians have actually installed batteries here. It doesn't include that. So it could be 10%. We don't know. But the point is to say, within a couple of years' time, we're going to go from that 5.5% to probably around 20%. And that will be a massive game changer. Plus, that does not include the fact that the government have committed to, I believe, $1.3 billion to being invested into, well, helping people get their own home battery. Right now, you can get a $5,000 purchase discount on getting a home battery. It makes it an absolute no-brainer now. It just makes sense to get a battery. Even if you're considering vehicle to grid, I still think it makes sense. I have a battery here. Uh, I did receive that from uh, Resync Solar, and I'll put a link in the description below. Resync Solar have won awards. In fact, they just won last month. Uh, they won the Solar Company of the Year here in Australia. So worth having a look into it. Battery storage is a relatively new thing on Australia's grid. Indeed, it's new on the world's grid, says Renew Economy. The first big battery was installed at Hornsdale back in 2017. That was eight years ago. Australia now has more than 30 big batteries in operation or commissioning on its main grids. The Thursday record was boosted by big activity from the two newest battery projects, the 237 megawatt, 477 megawatt hour Blythe battery in South Australia, the biggest in terms of storage in the stage in that and in that stage so far, and the 200 megawatt, 400 megawatt hour range back battery here in Victoria. But there is a much, much bigger battery that is at least three times bigger than either of those batteries being installed uh, about one hour's drive away from my house here on the site of a coal power plant. In, in fact, on the site of the biggest coal power plant in Australia. And that battery is intended 
to replace the coal power plant. In fact, the battery will put out more power than the coal power plant and more power than any other battery in Australia. Now, this new record output means that battery storage accounted for 5.1% of supply and across the whole grid, it's believed to be the first time this has ever happened. In some states, the percentage is already much higher. In South Australia, 34%. Western Australia, 18%. But Western Australia is the same. They have three mega battery projects. That will mean 18% will soon become around 50%. A number of new, even bigger battery projects are currently under construction or going through their commissioning phase. And many of these are built at the sites of existing or former coal-fired power stations. These include the 850 megawatt, 1680 megawatt hour Waratah super battery, which was what I was referring to before, which will be the most powerful in the country. And the biggest single power unit on the main grid, it is being joined by the first stage of the Araring battery at 460 megawatts slash 920 megawatt hours and the newly complete 300 megawatt, 600 megawatt hours Tarong battery in Queensland that will now work through its commissioning phase. Meanwhile, the first battery units at the 500 megawatt slash 1000 megawatt hour Liddell battery have been installed. While over in Western Australia, work is continuing on two big batteries in the coal town of Collie, both of which are enormous, sized at two gigawatt hours or more. In a few years' time, you won't be able to recognize the electricity grid in Australia. It will have completely transformed and coal power plants will, be, will continue to be shut down across the country. A revolution has begun and I just don't think people truly realize what's happening here in Australia. Gavin Mooney, the general manager at Calusa, has put together some insane data. There is a literally a tidal wave of batteries coming to Australia. I've been saying this now for a while, but someone has gone and actually done the work. Batteries are about to be increased across Australia by over 4,000%. I kid you not. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching. The Electric Viking, great to have you with us. Thank you for becoming a member of the channel. We just got up to a record number of members. We have, I believe, 400 members. So if you'd like to join us as a member, that would be great. I'll put a link in the description below. Battery prices have come down. As I mentioned in a video last week, the price of batteries has fallen by 51% of the past 12 months. Now that is at the cell level. At the pack level, they have not fallen that much, but they still have come down by around 25%. However, Battery pack prices continue to fall, and at the same time, batteries are lasting longer than ever with better battery management systems, improvements in battery chemistry, and guarantees from battery companies for 25 years. We know that if you install a battery today, it will last longer than if you installed a battery last year or the previous year before. And in addition, they're also cheaper. Now, Gavin Mooney says, that in Australia, batteries are booming. This map that he's put together only shows the large batteries being built. Now there is one mega battery being built actually only about 20 kilometers away from my house and it will power 200,000 homes, but that's not one of the bigger batteries though. The width of each rectangle in this map is scaled to the battery's power capacity in megawatts and the height is scaled to the battery's energy storage capacity in megawatt hours. So a battery with one hour duration would be a square. Now, before I go on, there is a flood of batteries coming to Australia's main grid in the next couple of years as falling prices spur a huge increase in investment. And this increase in investment is literally growing by the week. 